All right. Uh, welcome back, everybody, to the Morpha project. So today uh, we're going to be finishing this bit up, and then uh, see how far we go, uh, see how far we got there, and then uh, get this up and colored in, so that we then uh, can move on to the next part right here, and then move upwards to this one, and then you know f fill up the tree until uh, the whole thing is uh, fully drawn in. All right. No further ado. Uh, let's get started, shall we? Uh, it's a little bit hot today, isn't it? Yeah. Only 30 degrees outside, you know, 30 degrees in a goddamn country where technically everything every day is supposed to be raining frogs, so... I guess it's a little bit twisted at the moment. Oh well. What are you gonna do when it is su a summer? You're gonna have a hot summer and then you have a cold winter. No, well, technically cold winter is no longer existing here. It has passed on. But for the rest, it's uh, looking still good, so don't worry about that. All right, uh, we want the pencil. Yes, we want 3.6. Yes, and we want pure black. Yes, all right, good. So, uh, yeah, there's been a long day. Um, I've been finally be able to do uh, working on the st story of awesomeness, the Easter guy of awesomeness, so... Um, uh, what I did was actually doing, I uh, implemented the uh, writing that I did already on my uh, telephone and implemented that on my uh, drawing, uh, on my uh, writing. The main issue with that was that uh, it was a whole conversation of a television uh, news, I believe that was it. And I implemented that into the story. Um, the whole point of that was actually that I needed to have like something to give the audience the heads up of what's going on in the world itself around them. And therefore I thought like, well, you know, having a news channel would be actually quite a smart move. Even though that the news channel might not be that important to most of the people, it, is the, it does give you like little clues, little uh, things that... Uh, little things of... Um, Nux and crannies, there, there, there you go. Nux and crannies where, uh, where you have like a little bit of information about the whole universe itself that uh, is built around them, and you know that you will realize that the that the that the world is still uh, turning around, even though you know you're reading it from one perspective. It also gives good. It also gives news that you know everything is going to be uh, well. Uh, not well. It's it's a global news channel, so it should not give you the massive hints of everything, but it does give you like tiny little bits. Um, so what I did was uh with that story was that I uh, implemented the news and therefore you know all the stuff around it, and I got already uh four hundred five hundred words again into it. Of course, it's the second chapter, so therefore you know. I should not put too much information into the audience, but I did put some information in that so that you know people uh, get a little bit more of uh, information of what what's going on. And I needed to have it to build up, and therefore I needed to have that news channel because otherwise it wouldn't make any sense whatsoever. And I thought it would be a cool idea. All right. Um. So yeah, uh, today I'm gonna be doing uh, today I'm gonna be doing again working on a mothlock, and then uh, after that I will be doing some exercising because apparently, who would have thought this? But uh, the uh, whole day having a hot day, and then you know trying to do exercises while in the middle of a hot day is not a very smart move. So I thought. Why not just doing it the other way around and just do the exercise after the hot, uh, doing the exercise around, uh, around eight o'clock, nine o'clock, and then, you know, go from there on. So that's what I'm going to do. And then after that, I'm going to take a shower. So that's always good. Eh. I must say though, I'm quite getting better at this, even though, you know, it's just, you know, a tree. Well, tree, it's more like a big giant chunky boy, but it's the bit of the tree that counts, not the ma not all of it. Of course, you know, once we get towards the whole point here, 
So now that we have this and then, you know, move onwards to the rest, it would be, it will be looking way different than once, uh, once we all finish it up. It's just, you know, a little bit of an issue sometimes to work around with it, or work with it, at least. Also, it doesn't help that my nose is totally uh, stuck. It's like having a, a cold nosebleed. Having the pressure on my nose is absolutely horrendous. Therefore, I need to go to do the exercises anyway. Otherwise, you know, I will have a very hard head. Can't have that to happen. Exercises make your brain go, uh, clear your brain out and that and that's good. So yeah, the whole damn thing, the whole damn drawing right now. It's so important that we kind of be able to finish it. And today I might be able to, I might be able to just do a whole, a whole hour. It's just that, you know, I need to be very, very, very informative on, uh, well, very uh, alert on uh, if the, if my hand is not doing anything weird. It's just that I overpressured it, uh, overpre overpre pressured, overpressured it, eh, I overpressured it, uh, 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 at the uh, draw fest because you know doing uh working on it uh, a whole uh, a whole day straight is uh not a very smart move it does give you good results but the, mo the, the downside is that the week after that you're going to be totally broke on the uh on the idea that your hand cannot be moved and i'm and you'll be like why is my hand not moving and you probably realize like oh wait i only did one motion at the same time or you know, I hold that my I hold this pencil all the time the same way, so therefore, you know, it might be a little bit of an issue. But no, no, no need to worry there. It all will be uh, it all will be over later on anyway. Just uh, it's just a quick reminder for myself to make sure that I don't overpressure it. But I did uh, learn a lot about it, so that's all good. I learned a lot from it. Um. One thing of like dynamic lighting is like, yeah, I could do it, but mm. most of the time it won't work with the art style I'm using, so therefore I will probably just skip it and just do the manual uh, lighting. I know what dynamic lighting is supposed to be, so I should do soft dynamic lighting instead of hard, like not extreme, extreme way. Therefore it should be less problematic later on. Or at least you know that's... What I think is going to be happening. So yeah. I tried a lot. Learned a lot. And uh, I got some good results out of it. It's just that, you know. It's just a lot of, uh, a lot of time. Alright. There you go. I must say though, I'm getting better and better at, you know, keeping up with the same uh texturing. Uh ever since that, you know, you sometimes you need to like, you know, you're away from such a long time and then you realize that the whole drawing itself, um, you know, it aged a lot, and I must say that well it did age. True. The drawing did age, and uh, the art style is definitely changing up a bit here and there, but honestly, you know, it's not that big, big of a difference, and uh, the more I do this, the more, you know, the more better it will become later on. And this one does not need, like, it, it's, a, it's a tree in the background, it should not need this much detail, but I just like having the detail around. That's the whole point about it. I do like myself the detail, and therefore I'm stuck with it. And thus it takes a little bit more time, but in the end it will have a better result later on. Because the more you the more detail you put into a drawing, the more better it becomes, technically. Who would have thought? 
It there is no such thing as over details, so wait there is. Haha, <laughs> psych. So yeah, um I'm trying to get I'm trying to get to the point to finish this drawing up and uh well, you know, therefore I need a big giant tree to be done. And once that first tree is done, I can then add some grass in there. And then once that grass is done, I can then add the second tree in there, and then I can move onwards to the other side. And then once that's done, I will build two more trees, and then I can connect the grass with each other, and then it should be fine. At least you know that's the that's the theory about it. It's uh, it's a uh, it's a theory that I did not discover. It's a thing that uh, you know try to do my uh, try to do whatever I need to do. But yeah. Trying to figuring out how to do certain things, try to get to the point where you need to be. It all takes some time and efforts, and the more you do this, the better it gets. Yes, true and true and true. That's why practice is always important, you know. When you do practice, you get better. The more practice you do, the better, the better it gets. And once the Malfa project is done, I already have a good project to come uh, come around with this. This 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 Malfa project is nothing compared to the second one. Yeah. Would I be lying? Probably not, but I would also not be lying if I had so. The Malfa project is like a very nice little thing, you know. It's like your, uh, it's like your, uh, how do you say? It's like having, it's like having a girlfriend that you need to visit every single week just to make sure that she's okay. Yeah, that's that's the thing. That's the Malfa project. It's just you know, it's just a thing that you need to do every single day, just to get, just to get yourself up. Because the more you draw, the better you get. The more you draw, the better you get. And the more you draw, the better you get. That's that's the repeatable uh, kind of issue that you always have. And the same with the uh, same with writing. You know, I'm trying to get better at it. And uh, the more the more I do the writing, the better it gets. The more uh, the more I read over it, and then you know, change up the things that I need to do. Changing up the the the, the whole conversations that are getting better and better. It. Uh, it's getting there somewhere, you know. I'm still stuck on uh, on chapter two, but that's just that's just me. I am very slow with reading and writing and drawing it. Uh, it's it's a very slow progress for me. It's a, uh, it's like you know, you invite a snail to a party and be like, "What are you gonna do today?" Well, I'm gonna do this, and next day, well, I'm probably will be stuck on doing the same thing again because I'm not yet. That fast, you know. The cheetah could do it faster, but you know the cheetah ain't gonna give you the right results sometimes. And I like to have my results correctly. I like to have the story that I'm trying to write, the story that I'm trying to create. Well, it's not supposed to make sense. Well, it's supposed to make sense, but it's not supposed to make. It's a humor story, so therefore, you know, it should not. It's supposed to be not that uh, hard to understand that much, but. It, it does need to get towards the point that I need to be. And the more I write it, the more better it gets. And I must say, it really helps, you know, uh, reading sometimes the comments. And keeping myself in check, like, ah, well, I need to do this, I need to do that. And then, you know, you get to the point and then you find it out. With the story of awesomeness, it's all like, you know, you need to work on the visual novel. Correct. You need to draw this. You need to draw that. You need to create this. You need to create that. You need to do all of this. You cannot do it all at the same time, which is the main problem all, 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 which is the main problem all the time anyway. So therefore, you need to do baby steps, probably. And that's why I'm doing the writing a bit. Here and there, you know, fixing up the nuts and crannies. And then once, it, once it's done, I will put it into the visual novel uh, software. Therefore, once the visual novel, so one, therefore it would be fine. And eventually, you know, you will get to the point where you need to be like, all right, I have the concept art done. I can now start on, you know, creating the real deal. And uh, the writing is already done. The, the 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 soundtracks are well, you know, in development. And then all of those things come together. And then you can make, and then you can make the visual novel even better. That's uh, that's how it's done. Or at least, you know, that's how I want it to be done. Of course, you know, most of this is always a thing that you need to take with a grain of salt. You know, not everything is going to be going that good. Not everything is going to be going that fluent. But eventually, you know, it will be going good. And once that done is then fully correct, then, you know, you can release it. Uh, release it and then, you know, everybody can 
take a look at it and, you know, do it for free. Because I don't give a shit about money. It's one of those things I uh, don't care about at all. It's like, oh no, money is important. Yes, true, but not not when you want to create art. You can ask for money, true, but you don't have to ask like for billions or billions upon billions upon millions. It's a dick move. Especially if you create art in such a way that it is not that it's even representing a toddler. That is the worst art. Representing toddler art. Yep. And it's a. Uh, I have seen some weird art in my. Uh, I just say. Um, I uh, I have studied art. Let's put it that way. Well, I have studied art, but not in a like major way. I have studied art in. How do you say that? Not university, but the other one, the the one below that. I studied art there, and uh, I got a six for it, in total. Surprise me? Yep, yep. And why did I get a six? Well, because I got a four. Uh, I got a, I got a six on the exams because well. I cannot tell if it is good art or bad art, and I always say straight things up, like you know, yes, ma'am, this is good art because of bloody bloody blue. No, you just copy the same sentence that anybody else has and just, you know, use it, use that as a straight answer. That's how, you know, you pass your art at test, apparently. I didn't know that before. I didn't know that before, and uh, therefore I made a mistake on, you know, double judging somebody putting a shark on... Slicing a shark through three parts, and then, you know, have a shark like this, and then one bit here, and then one bit there. And then, you know, you have a shark. Raw. Well, this is then all separately uh, displayed on display in an art museum. And I was like, what the hell have you been smoking? And you call that art? Holy hell. Alright, that's some strange ass art. It's like, who's ever gonna buy that? Susan? No, Susan is not gonna buy that. Charlie also not. And uh, I don't know if even a rich people wants to buy a shark in... Uh, Preserved water, that's, uh, it's like a massive major hazard. <laughs> so yeah, and it's not even a full shark, it's a part of a shark. That's the worst. So, uh, yeah, I, um, I, uh, I said some words, I said some things, you know, put my own opinion upon it, and, uh, apparently some of it was right and some of it was wrong, and, uh, I got a six out of it. A 6 out of 10. Oof. And that was my opinion. A 6 out of 10. And that's now a uh, 1. But, uh, of course, you know, with the art part, I uh, got, like, 8s and 7s and 7.5s. Seven I never got below... I never got below 7. No, I didn't. No. So, yeah. The art teacher was quite satisfied with my drawings, but... Uh... The, uh... How do you say that? The, uh... Science, no, 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 no. The theory behind all of the right of the cool looking, beautiful art of the modern art is kind of vague. It's like somebody smoking a weed pipe and then be like, dude, did you know that hippos have wings and top hats and they can fly? Man, that's amazing. Yeah, that's uh, that sums up the whole art. Uh, art history right there especially in the modern part it's like holy shit they went from pika they went from cool looking drawing maidens to is that a cube yeah it's a cube is that a cube on a toilet yes that's a cube on a toilet amazing i will pay 10 million dollars for it it's like right anyway um so yeah um that was the main issue that I had with art. That was my art class. That was like, oof. I got a six, so and I had an eight, and then combined that was a seven and a half. That was, of course, not the worst part. All right, that was not the worst, uh, wor worst uh, experience with my great mind of me explaining things to you is absolutely horrendous because I am terrible at speaking. Yes, my my vocabulary is not the best. Absolutely not when it comes to English or, you know, my normal language. It's like, all right, 
I have this vocabulary and I want to tell you this. But my mind says I need to tell you it this way. Therefore, you won't understand the damn thing. Which is, uh, it's like, you know, you constantly need to have a translator like, all right, relax, just just take a deep breath and then explain it to people the way that people explain it to people. Yes, that's the way to do it. And uh, so I had to write a summary of uh, an article that was in my native language. All right, I have to write a summary. Good luck, by the way, writing a summary. A summary, which is a pain in the ass to do if you suck at writing. All right, this is why I also it takes so goddamn long for me to write. It's because I suck at it. There's no other way to say it. It's like, all right, you want to write something? Well, why don't you write it in your native language? And I would say like, ha! <laughs> you're funny, man. You're funny. You're 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 a good chap. But holy shit! Oh hell no! I will not write it in my native language because then everybody will know how bad I am at my native language. So yeah, uh, the native language I have is a uh, is a pain in the ass because of all the rules that are attached towards the vocabularies. Yes, I know. So even if you have the if you even have the vocabularies wrong, you're gonna be probably screwed. And then you also have problems with grammar. Oh no! So deciding when you need to put a dot behind the behind a sentence, I didn't learn that like two years ago. Only then I learned how to put a dot behind a line. So everything would be written like hello, hello, hello. Hear, hear me out. See, I typed here like bunny. So yeah, then there you go. It's already it's already screwed. So yeah, but the whole sentences won't make sense because the sentences are not correct. The sentences are not having a dot. Then the sentences also are not correctly placed. So therefore, you have a sentence like "hear me out" and then. It's spelled wrong, it is in the wrong position of the sentence, and also it doesn't reference towards, you know, the whole sentence. So if Charlie would have walked to to if the Charlie would have walked to the uh, to the train, he would have definitely have seen the bandit running across the rails, getting uh getting uh how do you say getting wrecked by the train itself that is coming, since that the train was uh, coming too early. Yeah. The bandit was uh wrecked of course you know that's uh, not what happened but you get the point here like the the sentences won't make sense i am absolutely terrible at making sure that i'm talking correctly even if, since i'm focusing goddamn hard on my drawing um so the sentence won't make any sense the sentence won't uh, have the right amount of vocabulary won't have the right amount of grammar and then you could imagine that i have a then i have a tree for my end exam it's like well, dude, you tried. Well done, mate. Thanks. I got a three. Oh my god, that's that's heavy. Well, no, I got a four, though. Oh, man, you're lucky. You got a four. That's that's even that's even more than you expect. Then it's even more than you expected. Yes, I was expecting a three. I got a four. But I would still fail my exam, and I would also still fail then the whole, uh, the whole the whole thing. So since that I would have failed then the whole thing, since I got a tree for one thing, because I cannot have a tree, I only ha can have one five. And since I had, since I was, since I stood on a six, I needed a score of five to make it even even. So, uh, that was a problem. I could not get lower than a five, a five point five. And I needed to get it, and I need to get it. I only needed, I only needed one five point five, or I can only have one. So the exams were like a pain in the ass to do, and then you know, I had to do it over. So what I did was like, all right, I need to write a summary, right? How the hell am I gonna do this? Well, you probably already noticed what is gonna be happening. I would probably be failing the first semester of my English, oh well, my English and my 
native language. Which is true. I failed it the first time. So I went to second year, only did the necessary things like English and some bits that I wanted to improve. So I did. I split the whole, sh whole shenanigans in two and uh, I went with that. So since I split it in two, uh, you could imagine that, you know, I had like, mul I had multiple free days. But I had to learn the native language and English. So I did. I was smeared. I was goddamn big brain there, so I had to practice doing some stuff uh, at the exam parts. So I did. I did exam after exam after exam to just get everything up and running. So that even if I had to write a summary, I would still win. Alright? It's... It was more about winning and beating up the beating the goddamn exam than anything else. So I did that with math. I did that with English. I did that with the uh, with with the native language Dutch, and I did it with was more. What was also one that I did? Oh yeah, I also did some more biology. So I had like a very big amount of things I needed to do and those things I needed to do and I needed to learn them all but science well, uh, well you know science was easy biology was easy and mathematics was uh somehow easy because I switched halfway and I switched halfway so I went from B I went from B to A halfway the exam year <laughs> by the way this is the worst decision you ever could make don't try this at home. <laughs> so I switched it halfway. Had to learn a whole damn new thing. In half a year, I had to learn B. Oh well, A. So I did. I did. I did. I did it in a half a year. I learned it all, and I beat it. I beat and I won like big time. I I scored an eight point six on the exams because I was only practicing exams. Only exams, just exams, just exams, just exams. Of course, for Dutch, it uh, the native language itself. <laughs> um, summary didn't go well. I'll tell you that. Still, I'm terrible at summaries. Don't tell me why. I I, I just know that. Like, you tell me a story. I will twist it in such a way it won't be your story anymore, and therefore it will be my story. Because that's my experience. And therefore, you know, everybody would think like, well, that's not what the book said. And I would say like, wait, it didn't? I I definitely read it like that. So yeah, uh, that was a problem. Uh, but I still scored a 5.5, .5, so uh, I won. Because 6 plus, uh, 6 plus 5 is a 5.5, .5, therefore I succeeded in Dutch. Well, the main problem was now that I also needed to do that in English. Luckily for English, I already learned a lot about English. Uh, well, writing a bit of English. I already know how to read it. Therefore, I was an 8 at the beginning. Scored a 6. So, 7 was the end, probably. Yeah. No, I scored a 7.5, so therefore a 7, yeah. So, I had a 7 at the... I had a 7 at the... at English, so... Uh, that was good. A little bit risky at the moment. Science, uh, science was uh, uh, science went from a six to uh, seven point five because I was uh, not slacking at all. So I did that. I went from uh, standing eight to seven because I was slacking constantly, and then you know, I suddenly stopped slacking because well, you know, I uh, I went with the motivation like, all right, I need to score only good grades. Therefore, you know. Go, 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 go. Ah. It's lovely having college. It's great. It's the fun bit of, uh, it's the fun bit where you, uh, definitely need to make sure that you're doing the right things. And I did college, like, multiple times. I, uh, did college probably twice? Yeah. Six years in total, right? Yeah, six years. Oh, four. No. Three, uh, three plus four is seven. Seven years. Because I did college for higher, hiring higher up uh, to get towards the um, 
to get my uh, to get to the point where I wanted to have that degree in uh, 3D modeling and 3D design. So therefore, I needed to have a higher college entrance, and therefore, I did went with a different kind of thing. So I went with a higher up version. So I did that, and therefore, I won because now I'm here doing drawings again. It's like, but you're doing 3D modeling and 3D design, yes. Um, I am still practicing on this tablet to learn on how to use this tablet, therefore I'm doing the drawings online. And I think next year or the year after that I will probably get the uh, software to do 3D modeling. And then I can then do, finally do 3D sculpting and um, 3D printing. So therefore I can do 3D printing, 3D modeling, 3D design, therefore, you know, I can make my own miniatures if I want to. Uh, yes, the main problem with that was that, you know, I had to use free software, which was a pain in the ass. It was one of those, it was that free software that you uh, probably didn't want. It's that uh, free software that you uh, avoid like the plague. It's like, uh, hmm, how do you describe that? It's software that you use to teach a child to use. All right, it's a software that's not intended to use for intensive work, otherwise it will crash. So, the main problem with the crashing bit was that, well, I used it for intensive work, therefore it will crash automatically every single time I ent entered one million triangles. And was like, every single time it happened, it was like, oh, here we go again, Mr. Charlie's doing the ting thing again, god damn it, Charlie, stop using that stupid ass. Stupid that crash pro program, thank you. And of course I couldn't have changed the program. I could have changed the program, but I didn't. I wanted to master the program of crashing. Yes, I mastered the program of crashing. I I made I made sure that the crashing was not uh, always happening. I made sure that I modeled my models in such a way that they were low poly. And therefore, well not low poly, but less polygons. Therefore, you know, less triangles, therefore less less crash potential. Of course, in the end, the drawings were still, like, huge and big, but... And which high amount of poly, but that was just at the end. I needed to have, like, I needed to have, like, multiple objects. Like, I needed to have hat. I needed to have hands. I needed to have... Oh, well. I needed to have hands. I needed to have legs. I needed to have a body. And what I did was, instead of that... I went with the stupid idea of, you know, combining it all into one model instead of print, uh, instead of modeling it in such a way that I just can just can co uh, just can place it into into another. The stupid me went like I did it I did over modeling instead of, you know, doing the I, I made it into a full model instead of a into a bits model. So uh yeah, I did that. But no worries there, I did still it still looks great you know it's a it's still a 3d drawing that absolutely lo looks amazing honestly uh most of the models that i made there were like you know two million polygons on oh, no, it 1.3 million that was the highest one and i all did it all i all did it in a on a crappy laptop that uh, my father now has so crappy crappy laptop wins huzzah Normally you should have like a big giant laptop for this or a big giant PC gaming PC because, well, you know, um, it's going to be taking a lot of graphical memory and all of that uh, jazz and uh, you don't want to be messing around with that too much. And uh, I did doing the me I did do the messing, so it's all, uh, all fun and games, definitely. Let's take a look on how far we got now already and how much time we have passed. Oh my god, oh, 34, minute, 34 minutes in and we're almost done. Nice. I did finally do it correctly. Was, uh... <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah. Um, I'm learning upon uh, getting towards it, trying to get everything up and running properly. Getting the, uh, getting the drawing done is one of the major things that I wanted to be done. Also, I wanted to make sure that I have everything up and running properly. And uh, 
making this piece of work is a real nice thing to do. Honestly, once I have, honestly, once I have, uh, once I have the this tree done, the second tree will be easier. The third tree will be even easier, and then the fourth tree will be like a piece of candy. So yeah, uh, I hope everybody is enjoying this, you know, commentary, even though it's absolutely uh, uh, problematic, because well, you know, I'm thinking and I'm drawing at the same time, so therefore, you know, thinking and drawing ain't gonna be working properly. You probably would. Let's put it this way: you should imagine me just talking and then just thinking and then just speaking out loud, well, you know, drawing itself and. Explaining it with you know gestures and all that stuff. Yeah, that, that that's me. I'm I'm explaining things towards you with gestures and hand waving, even though you know I ain't have no hands now. In this uh, stream, you cannot see them. Well, probably you can see the bomb, but you cannot see my hands. You can only see the pencil hitting the mark, constantly making shark tooths, because you know, as I said before once, I think. The shark tooths are the key to this drawing. The shark tooths are the master. The true enterprise. The main issue with the shark tooths is that they always are a little bit. Um, I'm always hesitant to use them because they can always screw you over, especially in drawing. But yeah, once uh, once this is done, I can then you know draw the the wood all around it, and then you know move onwards with that. Um, and then you know. Get the second bit up and running and then get the third bit up and running so once we have all of them done so once we have all the grass uh, once we have all the leaves done then we can finally move onwards to the wood and then we're gonna make the wood in one piece and then we have the whole grass bit also in one piece technically and then you know we have the whole damn thing that's how i'm gonna do it because the last time i did it the wrong way it took me a goddamn three or four weeks to fix it and I know I recorded that. I knew that I I know that I recorded that because I did record it. I recorded it on the Marfa project and therefore I knew that I made that mistake. This is also very important why you record your findings. Because, well, if you don't record it, then you don't know about it. And therefore, you know, you cannot avoid it. But if you record it and then you learn about it and you figure it out what the hell went wrong, you can avoid it the next time you do it when you come across it. Therefore, you won't make the mistake second, uh, two times in a row. Because making it making the mistake two times in a row is a kind of a little bit of a silly move, which can happen. Honestly, it's a, everybody can make silly mistakes, but it's a thing that uh, I always prefer to not try uh, or try to avoid. And yes, those mistakes can be easily solved. True, 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 true. But now. I know that I can avoid it, therefore I won't need to deal with it. I will be a happy person when I do that. I will be a very happy man if I can avoid the goddamn problem that I created the, fir the first time in a row. So, um, yeah. It's always fun to see everything in black and white and then, you know, suddenly everything turns into... Cool looking colors and fancy power because technically I always have been drawing in black and white and I'm still not fully used to colors. I am like, you know, I'm the child that always colors everything in black and white and says like, this is blue or this is green and this is yellow, even though it's all black and white. Don't, don't point me. Because I know from my memory that, you know, most creatures look like this, or most creatures can see, uh, think like this. But picking up colors and coloring them? Oof, that was a pain. That's why I always, you know, avoided it, like the plague. But since I need to do it now, and I need to learn about it, I need to increase my chances upon being better. Therefore, you know, learning how to do colors is also an important thing. And I think in two years' time that I have been doing this... I think it's two years, yeah, two years time. It has been improving a lot. Oh wait, no. Already I've been doing this for five years. Damn. I have not been recording for five years, have I? Probably not. No. That would not be possible. 
Oh, my sense of time is always terrible. Eh, either way. Either way, it's a thing. It's a ch it's a ching a ching. It's a bing a bing. It's a it's a do it's a douche a dash a bastard. All those lovely little things. And I must say, I'm quite impressed upon how much time I'm, and effort I'm putting into this. No, it has only been, it has only been two years. Because the Malfa project is two years. I have been doing this for more than two years, more for five, uh, for four to five years now already with recording. No. No, 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 no. Three. Three. Yes. Before Corona, at Corona, after Corona. Well, Corona is returning, but don't give a shit. So, yeah. I will call it the flu. Flu C. There you go. Flu C, that's better. Flu season. Flu C. Imagine just naming your naming the viruses after bunnies. That would be fun. <laughs> it's the bunny virus one. Bunny virus two. Three bunnies. Four bunnies. So looks like you have a bunny. <gasps> Dear God. I will be dead by tomorrow. Yes, you will die by the cuteness. Oh no, not by the cuteness. Not by the cuteness at all. What year is it? It's bunny flu season. No, not bunny flu season. Not the bunnies. <laughs> ah, amazing. Amazing. I know that bunny flu is a real thing, I think. But it's amazing. It's amazing. It's like, you know, people that have the chicken flu. It's like, oof, it's a very terrifying disease, but... Come on. Who cannot... People cannot take it seriously if it is a chicken flu. It's like, what do you have? I have the chicken flu. Is it scary? Yes. It will make you buck up. <laughs> oh, that, that's such a terrible joke. I love it. I love it. I like dry jokes. I like them as dry as the desert. They make me whole. Ah, it has been a, it has been a long time since I built be. Uh, it has been a long time since I have been able to talk properly. Come on, I can do this. What? Oh, uh, yeah, that's why I never go for shark tooth mud all the time, because it's... Haha! -ha. Well, now that we have open season, we now need to make sure that we have the closed season bit. Since so we have time, we can do that. I don't need to worry about that most of the time. It's just that, you know, we need to fill up the gaps that have been leaving behind. Because the more gaps we leave behind, the more... There you go. All right. Jesus.
this bit is too open. All right, know the self. Don't do shark deuce. Do the original thing. Yes. Do the original thing. Know the self. Well, luckily for me, I don't have to work with this too much. So therefore, I can don't have to deal with this too much, the shenanigans. But yeah, know the self. Don't do this shark dudes too many times. Because the shark dudes leave too many openings into the drawing itself, which can cause major issues and major malfunctions in the drawing itself. Which can lead to certain types of problems later on. All right. All right. There we go. We finished the drawing. Ow. Just in time. All right. Uh. Anyway, um, I think I will leave it here. Um, luckily for us, it's uh almost uh, 50 minutes in so uh i did uh, uphold my promise yes and uh i hope you i all see you tomorrow um when i do it again uh we're gonna be uh getting the colors in then and uh then uh hopefully after that we can do the design bit on the second bit of it so yeah until then i hope you'll i hope i'll uh, i hope you all have enjoyed for today and thanks all for watching, and I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I want to wish you a lovely day. Bye!